Hello everyone. I've had a couple of queries as to how to effectively quit, uh, create the templates that we use to make our offers. So this first video is going to address how to create the templates on web forms for a freehold property. So the first step is to go to the Toronto MLS website, torontomls.net. What you do from here, once you've logged in, is you'll end up at the home page, which looks like this. And from here, you can actually access web forms. For those of you that know your password and, and know how to log in, you can actually go to realtorlink.ca to bypass this whole procedure. But it's just very easy to do it this way. So as long as you go through the MLS portal, you click on the right-hand side where it says web forms, that'll take you to the portal. Now here, what you're going to want to do, you won't see any of this stuff that I've got down here. These are my particular deal files. So what you're going to want to do is go under templates, the second tab here, okay, and you can see I've already created all of these tabs. So I'm going to create the new one to show you what needs to be done for a freehold transaction. And I'm going to call this freehold template followed by the word delete because I don't want any duplicacy from my side. This is just an example for you guys. So it'll be an empty transaction kit or template. You click next. Okay. And in here what it's going to do, it's going to ask you to add the form. So when you're dealing with a agreement of purchase and sale for freehold purposes, the first thing we want is the individual ID. You want to identify your client. Okay. So you've got 630, which is the OREO version of FinTrack form for the identification. The second thing you want is the representation agreement. Now, this is tailored towards a client. If you're dealing with a customer, then you want to tailor it accordingly, and you'll be putting in uh, the customer service agreement as opposed to the representation agreement. So 300 gets coupled with the working with a realtor, okay? And I typically use the one-page faxable here. Make sure you're not selecting commercial because this is freehold, okay? The next thing you're going to want is Form 320, which is the confirmation of cooperation and representation. And then you want the actual agreement of purchase and sale for freehold, which in this case is Form 100. And these are the documents that you will require for any sort of a freehold transaction. Now, what you do before you move any for, uh, further, you can see that you can cl uh, click on Insert Clauses here. So if you click on this uh, button here, you are now able to insert all kinds of clauses. So the standard or real clauses are here. Okay, you don't have to follow what I do as an independent contractor. You're able to tailor your agreements as you see fit. But what I've done is I've created custom clauses. So if you go to the Public Choice website and you go under the Salesperson Resources. you will see here that I've kind of laid out my clauses that you can kind of tailor as you see fit. So freehold clauses are going to be applicable to this transaction kit in particular. Obviously if it's condo then it's going to be the other type of uh, clauses, uh, the ones that tailor to those types of transactions. This password our employees will have. Okay, simply enter it and you've got all of your clauses here. So what you can do is you can just copy from top to bottom and you can go back to your insert clauses provision okay what I do you can cancel this part for now you can create and save template without inserting the clauses okay and what you can do now is you can click on the third tab here which is for clauses and under clauses you can create a new custom clause and through there you can call this freehold standard clauses or whatever you want to call it and again I'm going to call this delete because I don't want to have too many versions of this in my software at this point you can simply paste everything that you've copied from the website into here okay and then if you want to add more you can you can create and save custom clause and to make sure that these always show up in your standard templates you can go back to the second tab for templates go back to the one that we've just worked on and then once you've selected it, you can click on Add and Remove Forms. When you click on Add and Remove Forms, it takes you back where you can insert the actual clauses into the agreement. So when you click on that now, and you go under Custom Clauses, the one that we just entered, which is here, the one that I just made called Delete, you add it in, and you simply insert. At this point, you can save changes to the template, and from now on, whenever you want to make a transaction kit for a property that you want to make an offer on, you simply click on Create New Transaction Kit. Under the first tab, you call this whatever you want. As an example, 121 Main Street. You've got the MLS number. You insert it here. And now you can click on Template. 
followed by whichever template you're using. So in this situation, we've made the one for freehold template, which I'm going to delete. And you can click on Next. And at this point, all of the forms are already here. If you need to add other things like disclosures, acquisition, disposition, whatever the case may be, you can do that here. Okay, And then simply create and save that transaction kit. And it'll always start you off with the very first form. Okay, And at that point, once you're dealing with the transaction, identify the person, put in their information. Once you start filling it out, you just go through the motions, fill up all of the paperwork as required, and ultimately print all of this and have it executed. There is one document I've missed, which I'm going to address now. In addition to FinTrack 1, which is the individual ID requirement, you also have FinTrack 2, uh, which is the receipt of funds. So you can add and remove forms, and in there, you can just add, just type in REC, and it should show up here, for funds. And so same one, for consistency's sake, use the OREA one, and you can just make those changes. So very simple to do. It's all here. If you've got any questions or concerns, you know where to find us. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.